Hello everyone, it's Sierra. I am back on today to do a video of my current planner collection. Um, I did one last year, uh, I don't, I think it was, well, I guess it was this year. It was like at the beginning of this year. Um, a lot has changed. I've gotten rid of almost every single one of my personal size planners. Um, for those of you, um, that that's the medium size. It's um, I believe to be one of the most popular sizes, if not the most popular. Um, I moved into personal wide full time in March, April, and I have not moved out, so I'm still very much in my parm. Um, but oh my gosh, I'm missing one. That's too funny. <laughs> I was like getting ready, and my this one's sitting behind me. So here's. Um, the last of my A5s that I have here. Um, so yeah, what I'm going to do is I'm going to walk through these. I'm going to be try and be as um, informational as possible. Um, inject some what I hope to be hope to be um, objective and or otherwise, um, you know, rational opinions about. The different brands and styles and so forth just to help you and, and I'm basing all of you know my content in this video off of the majority of the questions I get um, you know regarding Vanderspeck versus Jillio or you know which B6 cover why'd you move out of this why are you in this now you know um, questions about pocket configurations etc so just to help those of you, um, you know, learn a bit from all of my mistakes and or just all of the fun I've had. So um, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with Foxy Fix because that should be really quick. Um, I've tried almost every size of Foxy Fix. And when I say every size, I mean every size except for one. So I, like, the, like there's zero in size one and then, you know, I've tried two, three, this is the A6 size, is number three in a Foxy Fix. Tried number four, got that in a mystery sale. Five is their B6. Um, their number six is their standard, I believe. Yeah, I hope I'm not like botching this up. Uh, if, if I am, then I'll just have to refilm it. But uh, I've tried their number seven, number eight, and then like their big one, they're huge one. I also bought one of those once. Um, and in the end, I moved away from Foxy Fix. I have a brief video on that. Um, I still have, like, I had their, got their Himalayan salt. I still dabble, but in terms of, like, their TNs, um, I just realized, and it took me a while, that I'm really just not a TN person. It's just really hard for me to write in. Um, but I did keep these two because I just have a really big liking for these. Um, this is the standard size in their lush plum cake and I got the light pink stitching and I believe the vintage pink elastic um I you know I use this like a ton and I haven't written in it in probably like four months or something but um it really was just a place for me to write and it's easy you know it is easy to take and like bring on my couch or you know bring on a trip um I do you know I like the size in terms of the length if you would want to like do like to-do lists and so forth so with all well at least at the time with all of their lush that you had the crisscross crisscross pockets in the front and the back um you know i don't i love the crisscross but i do find it hard to decorate in i think some people have like a really easy time and i just like how to have a heck of a time like you know I guess I need to put like more paper clips or Oli clips uh, to transfix like the die cuts and I'm just I don't know I just have a heck of a time with it but that's that's probably my problem not everyone else's but um and as a back pocket I keep well I was using this um, almost entirely for finances at one point so there's like bills and credit card type stuff in there so I love this it's a squishy leather I got the rose gold embossing um, make sure I'm still in the picture, but, um, I'm trying to think what else. This is the standard size. It's not the, or the compact. It's not the wide. So, um, I also learned that I liked, I liked the idea of wide because I wanted like stuff, but in the end I could stuff 
um, and still have it be more compact with the compact version. Like I didn't need the wide, um, but it's still, you know, there's still that just like curiosity with getting the wide and seeing like how much you can fit in it. Like I, I loved that, but um, both of the ones I have now are compact. So this one is the Lush Ballerina Slipper and I love this one. I just, it's squishy. It reminds me of the moccasin leather, um, but it, it's more durable in my opinion than moccasin. Now the moccasin leather, which I did have a moccasin cream um, in the standard size, that has been a discontinued leather. So um, you, know, you can't like go find that now. You, you can definitely find it on the buy sell trade groups from time to time, but um, you know, I really like the Lush in that it's similar to the Moccasin, but I do believe it's more durable just in whatever coating they have on it. Um, A3 size. Here's a here's an example where I actually figured out how to freaking decorate it. Um, so, yeah, and this is from Bunny Plans. Just like, this is from Emily's Papery. Just like cute stuff. And then I use this for journaling, like, small wins. And this is... This particular size for me, this is from Three Glitter Peas. I love her shop. Um, this size for me is great because I also can just carry it around really easily. Like sometimes I just want a place that is nothing but just crisp, beautiful paper. And, um, you know, I gravitate towards that sometimes when like things get overwhelming. And so, you know, I have a A6 Stayology in here, which you guys all know I love my Stayologies. Um, and then this is from... I believe this is from jet pens like from a year ago or something it's really th it's thick paper um, lined and it has the this like constellation on here which I liked but anyhow so that's that um, you know foxy fix is great I think it's a great price point for a lot of people especially for rings you know they're now offering several sizes which is fun in their rings um, I got the blind emboss s all of my foxy fixes I get the s on it um, except if I'm not sure if I'm going to keep it and then I'll, I'll just do nothing because I want to make, I don't want to make it too, um, you know, individualized that no one would want to, want to buy it. So let me know if you guys have any questions about Foxy Fix. Um, you know, I, I, it is kind of fun. They're coming out with a lot of new colors right now. All right. Next things next, um, my B6 Deology. So, um, it's currently being housed in a hand... It's a handcrafted leather tee. It's an Etsy shop. I do not believe she has an Instagram yet, although I have messaged her. We've been talking and I've told her, you know, it wouldn't hurt to get on Instagram just because I have a tough time directing people to your shop because I'd like to just tag you. It's easier for me. Um, but yeah, so I love this. I got no elastic, no clasp. Um, I love this leather. It's you know, it's it's hard, you know, sometimes with my feed, maybe it doesn't fit into the theme of my feed because it is definitely more rustic, but this is perfect for fall for me. Um, I have no, absolutely no um, issues about, you know, getting it thrown around or feel like I'm like being hard on it because there's just no way you can be hard on this leather. Um, this is the Toback. I think it's Toback, but I think it's like tobacco, basically short. Um, this is that color. It, I got this pocket in the back, which, you know, I love secretarial sleeve, secular, secretarial folders um, or pockets because they're just easy for me to figure out what's actually in the pocket. These are stick-on PVC pockets that I got from Mochi Things. And this I got in their Black Friday sale last year. And so I'm still using them. I mean, I put them on like right when I got it and I'll add more stuff as time goes on or take stuff out if I'm not using it but I put pictures in the back here here's another one of these I put like a dashboard I made slid it in there so and then it has two pockets here so this one and then this one's like a business card and I have like a washi um, sampler that I got from someone I ordered washi from on the buy sell trade group it was so sweet of her um, she definitely didn't need to do that so I do miss having a back pocket on this it does not have a back pocket um, if you watch my b6 Apunto video when I first got my gold b6 Apunto you know that is something that the Apunto had which is the back pocket um, it just was it just was like too much space for me it's almost like I needed to have like another notebook in there and that wasn't something I needed. So right now I have no 
plans on moving out of this. Um, I did order an Aria Estelle B610 that has the clasp. It's really classy. I'll put a link to her below. Um, and so I am going to see if I can use that. I'm excited to get it. Um, but otherwise, right now, no, no plans to move out of it. So, all right. The only personal size planner that I currently own, which is very different if you watched my other, uh, my previous collection video, is my Giulio Firenze Black Croco Mat. It is my absolute favorite. I cannot get rid of this. I, you know, I've thought about it because I haven't used it in a, in a year um, or almost a year, but it's just so gorgeous. Um, you can scroll through my Instagram photos to back when I was using it. You can just tell how much I loved it. Um, it's the Mia Cara version. So, Julio has two different, well, they have three or four different models, or now even more. I can't keep track. But um, <laughs> they have basically their two main staples are the Campania, which you'll see this is a Campania here in their A5, or the Mia Cara. And I have three Mia Caras, two in the A5 and one in the personal or the, their medium size. Or in VDS, Vanderspeck, it's their standard size. So um, I put 30 millimeter rings in here. This was, obviously they just came out with the XL model and their Campania, so this wasn't made to have 30 millimeters, but the Mia Cara is perfect for that because it does have the extra space. So you don't have the issues of overhang when you would have put a 30 millimeter into like their normal medium Campania. So um, it comes with the back pocket. It comes with this really neat pocket here that, I mean, I was putting credit cards in, I was putting, you, know, you could put cash or um, checks in there, a zipper pocket. It has the leather fly leaf, which is so luxurious. Like it's just, let me see. Yeah, no, where, did, where is it, just back here? Yeah, so like even in, like even in this um, A5 Campania, you don't get that. And so obviously, you know, some people wouldn't even notice, right? But you do notice after you've had it once, like the um, ostrich leathers. I think I had one that had it. Um, anyhow, and then pocket back here. There is a pen holder right here. I would put a highlighter here. Um, that's the only pen. That's the only pen holder. So, you know, that is uh, some people don't like that. Um, and then there is six credit card, one, two, three, four, yes, yeah, six credit card pockets or, you know, card holders, two pockets here, and then a slot right here, and then also three pockets here. So I love it. It was so functional and like I've been dying to move back into it. It's just that I am, I'm so much in personal wide and I try to fit personal wide in here and the only way. So the Mia Cara, this, this slips out. So that's like the, the key to this. So you could just carry this around, but you could fit, and I've seen it ha I've seen it done, where you would get a PVC um, planner, you know, those clear planners, and there is Bliss Bag Boutique on Etsy sells the personal wide size, and you could, or even you could do personal, and you cut it and you slide it in here and I have seen it work. I couldn't get it to work perfectly for me. I might have like stuffed it too full. Imagine that, Sierra stuffing things too full. Um, so I have seen that. I just kind of haven't been able to hone down on what I was doing that other people weren't. So um, I'm gonna keep this baby. In fact, you know, I've, I've been holding myself back from buying some of the A6 versions of it because it, I just wanted in like every size. and. Um, I did have an A5 of the black croco mat, but I felt like I had, had overdone. <laughs> I had overdone it with A5, so I I sold it to a lovely lady. Um, so I, you know, I feel good with the home it went to and so forth. So that is that. I guess I'll leave it out in case I want to talk about the leather. All right, so then I will go to my three A5s. Um, I don't even know where to begin with these. This is the gray croco mat. It is the like original. Um, I believe this is from a couple years ago. I got this, I am the third owner. 
Um, if you are at all interested in my ring debacle, you may absolutely check it out. I have it in my highlights. It's like the last highlight because I haven't added anything to it since it happened. But um, long story short, I did put 35 millimeter rings in here. And when I'm, I mean, they're huge. They're huge. It's like massive. Um, I freaking love this planner, you guys. So classic and... I don't know, I just can't get enough of it. But the 35 millimeter rings, I mean, obviously it wasn't made for that. So side tabs are a little, I don't know, a little much. Um, so I don't really have very many. And then I mainly use top tabs. And I use this for work. Um, this usually is always at, at my office at work. So it has the nice fly leaf. I mean, holy crap. When you, when, like fly leaves are just so, they just put it on a whole nother level. I like how it has rounded corners too. Um, secretarial pocket, some card pockets here, four, and then another one, and then a pocket here. The back pocket, always signature of the Campania Mia Cara. Another secretarial back here. This actually also opens. I kind of find this like, like a secret one because you would normally like think it would actually open. And then this is a zipper pocket. So it comes with the pen loop, which is nice. Um, the big thing with the with the gray crackle mat is that there's been several editions of it and it's always different. So, you know, when I was offered by Jillio to return it and get a credit to buy like any planner I wanted, which obviously I would have spent, you know, within like a day, right? Um, I just, I said I couldn't do it because I really doubted I would ever find this again. Um, and I think, I, I think I'm correct. I think with the last release, it is very different. It's not bad, you know, better or worse or whatever. It's just like total personal preference. Like I like the contrasting colors. Um, you know, I like the tone. I like the richness of the tone versus the more lighter um, version that just came out. It's still gorgeous. Oh my gosh, some of the photos, it just, you know, makes you makes you want to scroll through all of them all at the same time just to see them over and over again. So, um, yeah, I'm just, I'm really glad with my decision. I think I will maybe switch back to 25 millimeter rings at some point. I have a, an extra set. Um, and now that the back plate's perfect for it, I can do that. So, um, you know, I think the quote surgery was, was worth it. Now this is velvety. And when I say velvet, velvety, it actually feels like velvet. I mean, definitely like on a scale of velvet, velvetiness, it's it's with at least in the middle, um, definitely very soft. It really has very little structure. So I I don't have them in right now, but like it's floppy. And you know, sometimes I really want something more sturdy. Where this is like this is sturdy. I mean, there's no floppiness to this planner. Um, so that's something to just kind of note. Uh, let's see here. So I'll just go to the aubergine crackle mat. This is a newer aubergine. It's not the original, so it is darker. I'd say it has more. You could, I mean, look, it kind of it really goes with my, my fingernails, which I did not plan. I promise you that. <laughs> uh, but uh, let me move this out of the way. I did clean this floor before I did this. But I wanted to have do my video in the same spot I did last time because I wanted the colors to come out. And so there wasn't any question of like, oh, how does that color compare to the other ones you used to have, if that makes sense. But okay, so this this was the Campania version, the gray crack on that. This is the Mia Cara. And the Mia Cara, um, just like in the in the personal or the medium, the A5 also has the slip out cover, um, which makes it very transportable. And then this is just absolutely fantastic. I love the back pocket. The amount of um, storage this has is just incredible. And I am, this is what featured in my last video in that I am, I do have it set up for 2019. Um, it has all the inserts in it. I have started kind of getting decoration, I mean, minimal decorations. And when I say minimal, I'm talking not like black and white minimal, but like just very little overall um, to put in there. 25 millimeter rings so let me see help you guys out here you can see the difference I mean holy crap guys holy crap so if you're going to compare the size 
And there is an asterisk on Julia Frenze's website with the A5 Mia Cara. It, it is not like an absolute A5 size. It is a little smaller, so like side tabs stick out a little when it's in the cover. But once you stick it in the larger cover in the back, there is no overhang like in fact it like it's perfect so that's just kind of an FYI um, you know in case anyone would be like surprised to get it but um, it's definitely something that Jillio has um, been very like it's been like I don't know not a concern there's been a few people who have like wanted them to change the the model so that it's really a true A5 but I almost think shoot it's already so big I don't know if you'd want to make it larger um, so just like with the personal size, it has the larger pocket here. Um, this pocket doesn't open, there's pocket here. Back pocket, same four here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And there's one and two, three. So I usually slide in, and you'll see this in my Lotus, I slide that in here um just as like something I can pull out on the go if I need to like take notes quick because I, I will like be in the moment and I don't want to write on my nice paper but like I need to write somewhere and I don't I like somehow can't find any post-it notes which is like how is that even possible with the number of post-it notes I own um but yeah so again the leather fly or leather zipper pull which is really nice um again velvety I would say yeah, almost the same velvety type as the Grey Crackle Matte. Um, this is just an absolutely amazing piece, and I'll talk about it later when I discuss the different brands like all together. But um, you are really getting something truly special, in my opinion, with Agilio. Um, sure, they're ramping up. I believe they're ramping up their business because they have become so popular in what feels to me like a short amount of time, but you know, thank God, because I love them. I would like them to be more popular, but that made it very hard to find the colors and styles he wanted. Um, I believe they're trying to, you know, ramp that up, but even then, you know, some of their colors aren't gonna come back. I mean, they just announced Lotus um, will not be produced again. So, you know, there's something exquisite to it, not just because of the rarity, but also because the craftsmanship um, is just unparalleled based upon all the different planners that I have ever owned. So um, I think there's something to be said for that. Um, obviously you're gonna be paying a premium price and, you, and if you're in the United States, you will be paying you know, the conversion rates from the Euro and if you have any international transaction fees, you'll be paying those if you order directly. So I, I always recommend especially if you're not 100% not sure on your size, to order from the Buy Sell Trade Group. Um, it's called Jillio Marketplace, um, and I just have had a great lot. I've had no bad experiences with it, so um, I don't really see any downsides with that. Um, the, the next one's my Lotus. I wanna make sure I'm still in the video. Um, Hey, what do I have to say about the Lotus? So, in my my first collection video on my YouTube is was me basically saying I'm I'm trying to sell it. It's like I shouldn't have bought it cuz like it was Christmas time and I shouldn't have been spending money and it came and I was like what am I doing with this? I feel insane. Um because I also just gotten the Great Crack on Matt like relatively around the same time. So, um I did try to sell it. No one wanted it, um, or no one wanted to pay me what I believed it was worth. Um, I got it from the good deal section. I don't see any, I didn't see any flaws in it then. The ones that are on it now, which are like little spots. I don't know if it's like dirt or what. It's really hard to keep clean, guys. I'm telling you. I mean, I've been keeping this sucker in its dust bag its whole life, so I'm not sure how this even happens. But, um... Yeah, so anyhow, I don't know where I was going with that, but um, I ended up keeping it because I realized about two or three months into trying to sell it that I love it. Like, I can't, I can't get rid of it, and I don't think it's functional in a lot of the ways I need it to be because I cannot take this out of the house. Um, I just can't. It's too nice. 
Um, so I don't know. It makes me sound silly because it's a planner. Like, that's the point. But, you know, it has served as my home binder for, um, the you know, the entire time I've had it after I decided to keep it. So, and when I say home binder, I'd say about 90% of that is um, finances um, and other, like, cleaning tasks and reminders. So, same Mia Cara style. So, I mean, it's huge. Um, I got cards in here. I mean, I'm actually using this right now, so it's fully, fully packed. Uh, I always have stamps in every single one of my planners because I always like to write letters and I can never find, like, find stamps when I need a back pocket. The same big sleeve. This is 25 millimeters again. I have not switched out to gold, uh, mainly because I'm worried about damaging the leather because when you do take out the rings, you have to, like, put a credit card right here and like really jack it um you know sometimes some rings aren't as need as much force as others but I'm like not willing to even risk it so the <laughs> the silver like kind of drives me nuts um but I'm it's not worth it to me so this is from Purpose Papery and some other cute die cuts um Planner Press Emily's Papery so I'm Still heavily using this. This is from Gen XO Plans. I love these. She made me quite a few. And then, of course, like I switched all these sizes, so um, I'm not able to use them all. But yeah, so again, I have a slide in book here. This is from May Designs. Um, telling you guys, I mean, I'm so like anal about this, this beautiful person. So, planner. Um, same pockets on the side. Now this is Julio's Epoca leather. So it's the Epoca Lotus. Um, and it is obviously very different from their Croco mats. This is so squishy, so just smooth and pretty. And it makes me want every Epoca leather on this planet. Like any planner, any color, I don't care if it's Epoca, I want it. And Obviously, I can't afford to do that, but, um, you know, if I could just, if you could feel this, it's just something else. There is no plastic feeling to it whatsoever. Like, none at all. Um, the stitching is just divine. Um, there are no flaws. I mean, there is, like, I've got a little bit of color in here. I'm not sure where that came from. That wasn't like it when it came. So, I need to be more careful. Um... So what else can I say about this baby? I'll move on and come back, but I mean, it's it's a very plush leather. Um, this has a plasticky feel to it. It's because of whatever they put on top of it. You know, I don't know. This is a vegetable tan leather. Um, I mean, it's their premier leather, so I just... I just can't get enough of it. Um, if I could take it out of the house, I would, but it, I think you guys probably can get a sense from the just this video, like how easy it would be to mark up this planner. So if any of you guys have ideas on like what I could use to protect it, I'm scared to put anything on it unless I'm like 100% sure it won't damage anything. So I mean, Apple Guard maybe, I don't know. I'm just I'm too worried about it. So okay, last but not least, because we all know I've been obsessed with this blush pink color. Um, I ended up ordering this. I have a couple videos on it now, at least one, where I really talked through it. But this is the Parm, um, or Parme, for those of you who subscribe to that pronunciation. Um, this is from Vanderspeck. And Vanderspeck is in the Netherlands, Julio's in Brussels. Um, I suppose they're somewhat competitors. I don't think that you really can compare them, um, fairly at least. There is a lot to be said about Vanderspeck. I mean, I got the gold hardware. I mean, that's that's super neat. That's so much more me, you know, being able to customize that. It comes with rounded corners. That's their standard. If you wanted square like Julio, you would have to, you know, add that custom. I'm not sure how much that would be. Um, they have a lot of different leathers. You can customize everything down to the like, like minute details. So that's really awesome. Um, it takes about four to five weeks to get one in if you do a custom. She does have some um, Touch Me, which are like ready to ship models. Um, and those get released throughout the year, so you just have to keep up on it. I have never bought um, 
you know, one from the website, one from like directly from their web store. I've ordered this custom and then the Tortora was I bought online on Instagram. So um, for those of you, I get a lot of questions. Well, how do you get the Parm or how do you get, you know, the custom colors or whatever? And that really comes down to um, you just email Petra who is, you know, the brains behind the business or whatnot, and you talk to her, and you have to sign up for hides, like you need a certain number of people to go in on a, a, a custom color that isn't normally in stock. Um, and so it just takes time. Like sometimes you will just never have enough people, or, you know, people will fall off or whatever. And so, you know, I was lucky enough that the, there was a list already started for Parme when I, when I ordered, and um, it was perfect. So I got gold rings, 30 millimeters, widened it to fit personal wide. All of that is in my prior videos. Um, I got custom pockets. I got the secretarials. I will tell you, the planner itself is actually relatively comparable to, or it's cheaper, quote, than like getting a medium Gilio. Um, but when you start customizing it, that's when it just like blew up so it ended up being probably about 100 or 200 dollars more to do this but you know it's 100 percent customizable for what i wanted and i just you know the only thing i would have added now is a fly leaf i could go back and order that um but you know trying to like be responsible so um yeah so i i did have a notebook back here this is supposed to be a slit to like slide in a notebook i the notebook i had bought for it like broke within a day or two so i'm still trying to like find a good notebook i can slide in there or notepad sorry notepad um but that's what it's meant for so i really like that um if i were to talk about comparison to the leather so this is uh van der Speck's touch me leather i believe you know it kind of feels like it's meant to be similar to the Apoka in that it's like their more standard leather. Like this is like the Apoka's Gilio's leather and this is like Touch Me is Vanderspeck's leather. Um, but there is just a distinct difference in it. Um, I hands down would prefer the Apoka, but at the end of the day, you know, this, I'm not turned off from this at all. It just does still have that like a little bit of manufactured feel in it where it feels more synthetic even though I know it's not. Um, the stitching isn't as perfect. Um, some of the, like I did a, I think this was like a lot when <laughs> Instagram first came out with live, like live videos, I did one. Um, and I compared the leathers between my Tortora and my Julia's, but let me just show you. Like if you can see the differences in the corner and just how it's manufactured. I mean, there's just, um, it's a different process. And I feel like if I had never seen a Jillio before, I wouldn't notice those at all. And then even though, even though I do have a Jillio and I do notice it, the fact that I could get it so customized and I could really fill it with what I wanted, um, in sort of, in terms of pockets and color and I lengthened the strap and, um, you know, it feels special to me. Like this feels like Sierra when I look at this. So that's something in the gold hardware and other, you know, sort of fun things you can add. Um, I did get the back pocket, you know, that, that weighs against, you know, or weighs for and against each company. I mean, each has their own, uh, things to offer. So there's definitely a space for both of them in this, in this community, obviously. I mean, they're everywhere, but um, you know, I'm trying to give like an honest informational view for those of you who are like, which one would you choose? You know, I mean, at the end of the day, if I could get this planner in a Lotus Apoka <laughs> with the perfect stitching, um, I actually like the rounded corners, but that's just me. That's what I would do. And I may get the Mia, and I do kind of like the Mia Cara, um, design. Like I like this pocket here. And I do, I'm sure, I think it's, I'm sure if I like worked it out with Petra, she could make a pocket like that, but I have no idea how much that would be. So I didn't even like try. Um, so yeah, I hope that, you know, I hope that's helpful. I didn't want to make this too terribly long, but I also didn't want it to be like, ooh, look at this pretty planner and ooh, look at this pretty planner. Um, because, you know, I really wanted it to be like, okay, you can go to Sierra's video and you can see the different leathers next to each other and, you know, make an informed decision, the best one for you and, you know, which one you're going to like more or not. So, uh, obviously always, 
you can always reach out and have questions for me um, on Instagram or comment below. Please like or dislike if you don't, you know, if you like it or, or don't like it. Um, subscribe. I believe my next video is going to be my complete 2019 setup. Um, and I, I did break down and I got a pocket XL. So I will be setting up a pocket here shortly. Um, it has bigger rings, so I hope it's more functional now than my LV Koala. Uh, that I had earlier um, and I am gonna I am giving a six a try right now so I am I printed off some a six size inserts um, and I put them I hole punched them for per my personal wide so that I could just give them a shot this is my list insert but um and I also printed out printed out weeklies just to give it a shot to, I don't even know where I put them now. Maybe. Um, but yeah, I just, I am gonna kind of be doing some more fun things cause I just felt like trying more sizes. So I think that'll be my next video. Oh yeah, here they are. Oh my God. I filled these out in the plane yesterday, just a little bit. And they're so fun. The size is fun. I just need to figure out how functional it is for me. So we'll see, these are my ASICs, uh, vertical, functional, and they have these slip-in pockets so that come with it, these slip-in inserts. So anyhow, that's what's, what I'm up to in my planner life, um, if anyone was curious. So thank you guys so much for watching and putting up with this long video. All my videos are long. I hope you guys have a good day. Bye.